Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning into today's Sunday Startup. My name is Tish and I am a creative, full-time working mom who loves to share things with her friends about productivity, lifestyle, and creativity. Well, it is the start of another week and here we are. Today I wanted to share with you something that I have been doing for a couple of months now and I intentionally started to follow a daily routine. Why? Why is that even important? Well, if you think about it, we have a routine already, whether we set one or not. But I want it to be intentional. There are things that I would find myself saying, gosh, I wish I could have you know, done this or done that, or I wish I could do this or do that. I just don't have enough time. So I had to sit down and see where my time was going and why I couldn't get in certain tasks that I wanted to get in and see what the problem was. Well, it was me not adding those things to my day. I mean, I had to add them. So in today's video, I hope that I can share with you or inspire you to create a daily routine. When I started, the first thing I did, I didn't say this was my set routine. I created an ideal routine. I really sat and thought about what my ideal daily routine looked like. And I jotted everything down from the time that I wanted to get up in the morning until the time that I wanted to go to bed. What am I doing during the day that's ideal? And I just scripted that. And just, I didn't restrict myself. You know, <laughs> if some things wouldn't make the cut when I actually created the daily routine. But script out your ideal daily routine and in doing that you know make a list of things that you definitely want to include in your daily routine it can be things like meditating you don't you could say morning or night just meditating working out maybe reading something inspirational or fun um eating in the morning <laughs> you know some of us don't have time to eat in the morning because we haven't, we either don't want to or we don't have the time because we haven't set the time to do it. Um, think about some things that you want to do in the afternoon. Would you like to take a walk? Would you like to write a blog post or work on something um, that will get your side hustle up and running? Um, shower or do you want to engage with friends um, at some point during the day um, just think about everything that you definitely want to include in your day and it can be those very simple things like showering not saying that you don't shower but just go through everything that you do on a daily basis as is and put that on the list so that you have your list in hand and then now you can start plugging in plugging in those things that you do and those things that you want to do. So step two would be make a list of all of the things that you currently do and that you want to do. That's step number two. Step number three, go ahead and block off your morning activities. What are you going to do in the morning? What would you like to do in the morning? Don't overwhelm your morning and have 30 things and you realistically only have an hour and a half to two hours to possibly get them done. If you have more, that's great. Plug in according to the time that you have. When I did this, I knew that I only had maybe from 5.30 until 7.30 to get a lot of things done. So I didn't overwhelm myself. And plus I have two children and their time is also my time so just assess your situation and take the morning and start to plug in those things from your list that you can do in the morning and give them time slots so if you're wanting to work out in the morning how long do you want to work out and then look at the time that you may need to wake up 
get your workout in, come shower, how long does the shower take, and start to plug in those times. Do that same thing for the afternoon and do it again for the evening. And if you have some things still left on your list, you know, maybe you can swap them out you know, you do certain things on Tuesdays and Thursdays or Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, or they're just weekend tasks. You know, be flexible with yourself, but these are just some ways that you can incorporate the things that you want to get done in a day, every day. And plus, I mean, repetition will make it a lot easier. And the key word here is consistency. We have a set daily routine from Monday through Friday or whatever days of the week that you work from home or away from the home. Your weekends can be a completely different routine. Use the same method of, you know, seeing what your ideal day would look like and what you want to include in the day. And these definitely could be things that you normally wouldn't ever do on a weekend. You know, start plugging them in Give yourself some grace period and try it for one day. Start on a day, see if that works. You may need to pull some tasks out. You may need to shorten or lengthen some time, or you may just realize, I don't like doing this task for this day and shift it around. You are able to do that as long as you intentionally do the things that you need to get done and some of the things that you want to get done on a regular basis. It sounds simple, but the hard part is going to be you having the will and the determination to actually do the things. And you'll see that you can maximize your time when you look at everything that you want to get done and everything that you need to get done and you just give it time there we go friends i hope that these quick steps helped you let me know down in the comment area if you already set a daily routine if you have one set already and if you think that this is something that you can do i would love to hear from you please like this video and if you have not already please subscribe and click the notification bell right next to the subscribe button or feel free to share this video with friends who are wanting to get their days off to a great start okay i love to engage with you down in the comment area and subscribe if you haven't and like this video and until next time have a great day and thank you so much for watching Yeah.